In this utter review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this software. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment them down below and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can always get your money's worth for Otter. Now Otter is a software that helps with recording audio, writing notes and much more. So this is what you should see once you first log into the software. Whether you signed up for the first time or logged in, this is pretty much what you should land on. So what this software does overall is pretty much records your audio and transcribes it into text, pretty much then helping you write notes when you're saying things live. So a pretty cool feature if you do ask me and I'm excited to go ahead and jump into this. I'm gonna go through each feature and then throughout the review, dive deep into each feature showing what this software has to offer. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight into this dashboard section or pretty much the home section. So on the left hand side, you can see we've got your account or your email up there, then your workspace and then your little navigation area. So we've got the home, which we are on right now, which is pretty much a dashboard, my conversations, shared with me and then more. You've also got your groups, direct messages and folders. All the way on the right, you've got a calendar section where you can go ahead and actually link your Google Calendar, your Microsoft Outlook Calendar or even just your Zoom meeting. So a cool little integration section there where you can go ahead and make sure everything is pretty much happening on this software and you don't have to go ahead and be jumping from different softwares back to this one. So I think that's a really cool feature and I personally think that's amazing. And then in the middle here on this home section is where everything would obviously be happening. So on this home section, we've got this getting started if you've just first signed in, where it asks you to connect your calendar and record your first conversation, which is what we will do in just a moment. As you scroll down on here, you can go ahead and see through other features and that's pretty much it. So not too much going on in the home page, not very overwhelming for beginners, and it's a pretty well laid out page. So as we go ahead and move on to the next section, we're going to go on to the My Conversation section and then jump into recording our first conversation. So once you click on that, you should be greeted with this page, which is very blank and empty. So Obviously, if you first started, it would be blank and empty, but once you start recording your conversations, these should start appearing here. Up here, you can go ahead and search for your conversations once you've actually recorded them. To the right, we've got paste a meeting URL to start recording. Then you can also, to the right of that, just start recording straight off the bat and import a recording if you went ahead and record it on a different software, which again is a little feature that I don't think is necessary, but I think it's a really cool feature to have and I'm glad that they've added it. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight into it by clicking record. So once we click record, it should then ask you if you want to go ahead and use your microphone and then obviously you click allow. And there we go. It should then take you to this page where it starts recording your voice. Now, as you can see, as I'm talking, it live records my voice and it's very well transcribed, which I think is a very great feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and start talking now and then click pause or pretty much start recording down in the bottom. So once you stop recording, it then takes you back to the My Conversation section where you now have your recording pretty much recorded and transcribed. So as you can see, it did it live, which is an insane and incredible feature that I personally really love is the fact that you can actually see what you're saying live as you're saying it and pretty much just know that it's recording the right words. So now that we've got it transcribed and it has loaded it straight away, you can actually click more options and choose to share it export it, move it or delete it. If we went ahead and clicked on it, it takes us to this page where you can actually start editing or reading through what you said. So once you click on it, it opens up this page. It gives you when it was recorded, the title of it, which you can just click on and change. So I'm gonna go ahead and call that reviews. For the sake of this review, gives you the date, time, or pretty much the duration of it, who's the owner, and then the summary of keywords, which is a pretty really good feature that I actually think is insane actually gives you keywords or what you go ahead and use more in your recording. So maybe if you have a meeting and you've went ahead and talked about something in particular, but you want to go ahead and remember it, it actually remembers the keywords or summarizes the keywords you use throughout your meeting, which I think is an incredible feature once again. And then finally, the speakers, which it says there is one speaker, which is another really cool feature. It recognizes how many speakers there actually are in case some people are talking over each other. So now the first speaker, or which was me, has the sentences that I went ahead and said. So if you go ahead and read through this pretty quickly, you can pretty much tell that it gets the vast majority of what I said. So there's not too much that are exactly different, but you can go ahead and actually edit it by clicking edit conversation and start editing it if it actually said anything wrong. Very hands-on, very well integrated experience, and I think it's very easy and straightforward to go ahead and edit and design and record your own transcripts. You can go ahead and play the recording down here if you want to do that as well. Kind of go ahead and fast forward it, just like a recording. Highlight some sections, comment on some sections, action, and add images. So you can very well design this to any way you want, and that's a big feature that I think is really great about this software. It's very hands-on 
and just very great to you and very straightforward and easy to use. So again, once you're happy with your transcript, you can go ahead and share it, copy and paste it anywhere you want, pretty much be happy with it or just keep it here in your software. So next, moving on to the shared with me, if you go on to that, this is again the same section as the conversations, but this is what is shared with you. So maybe you have a team on this or even just loads of other people that want to share you their transcripts. This is where it all comes through. Pretty much the same as the conversations, it should just appear like that and there's not too much to go into with that section. Moving on to the group section, if you actually have a group, you can go ahead and actually share or go between different groups in this section. This is pretty much the same with the direct messages and folders, which we'll go ahead and create some in a second. So if we're on the group section, once you click create new group in the top right hand corner, it says create a group and then you go ahead and name your group and invite others. So we're going to name this reviews and then you'd obviously type in your email addresses. And then once you click create, your group is made where you can start recording transcripts and then they should all appear in your group section or if you'd record transcripts and move them to your group section or your group that you've made, it would all appear here. So it's kind of like a sharing section. Maybe you don't want to go ahead and go back and forth from two different people. You want a place where everyone can share it to one area and everyone can see it. Definitely a good section to go ahead and use. So personally, I think that section is an insanely great feature. It pretty much just brings your group together and makes your team very well and very efficient. Next onto the direct messages, just kind of like a messaging section. If you click create new message, type the email in and then type your message. You can go ahead and then direct message people through this software, just making it easy, simple and straightforward, which is again a feature I personally really love. As long as everything is simple and straightforward, there's not much more you can ask for. And finally, on the folder section, if you go ahead and click on the folder section, you can go ahead and create a new folder, title this folder whatever you want. I went ahead and titled it reviews. And then once I click create, as easy as that, we can create a folder to start posting our transcript. So this is more for you personally. Maybe you wanna go ahead and lay things out in a better way. You can go ahead and make folders for yourself and make sure things are laid out great. So as you can see, everything on the left side is starting to come together. It's very easy and straightforward to go ahead and do this. I've now got my group that I would invite people to, reviews, my conversations I actually went ahead and used. And now if I click more options on this and move it, I can move it to the reviews folder right here. So as simple as that, we've now moved it, transcribed everything and pretty much put everything into place as simple and as easy as it can possibly be for a software like this. And there you go, that is it for the Otter software review. Overall, I think this is an incredible software for going ahead and transcribing audio and recordings, and there's a handful of great features that I personally really love. I love how easy and straightforward this software is. Just the whole kind of process of just recording them from your meetings and having groups and folders, definitely a very well laid out software and insanely great. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I absolutely would. Any professionals or beginners or anything like that, I would definitely recommend them this software to go ahead and use to record their meetings. Again, very efficient and I think it's very great for everyone involved. And finally, would I use it myself if I ever needed to transcribe recordings in meetings? Definitely the software I would go to. It's insanely incredible. Overall, 10 out of 10 software and I would use it again. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.